The future didn't just arrive. It exploded onto the stage in Beijing. At the World Robot Conference 2025, we saw machines that looked like they stepped straight out of a sci-fi movie. Imagine walking into a hall filled with more than 1,500 robots. Everywhere you turned, something new, something shocking towering humanoids striding with confidence, companion robots that could smile, blink, and even comfort, worker bots moving faster and smoother than any human, and swarms of machines acting together like a living orchestra. This wasn't just another expo, it was a revolution under bright lights. More than 600 companies came to prove one thing. The robot race is real, and it's accelerating. Some machines were built to lift cars, others to cook dinner. Some could sense touch, feel pressure, and respond with emotion. One moment you're staring at a robot chef flipping food, the next at a lifelike android making eye contact that's sends chills down your spine. WRC 10T25 didn't just show robots, it showed the future of humanity, and what you're about to see will change the way you think about machines forever. So, let's dive in. Sakura. At the World Robot Conference 2025, one of the most surprising unveilings didn't come from a giant industrial firm or a robotics lab, but from the Japanese company Yodal. Known worldwide for its premium lifelike creations, the company shocked audiences by introducing its latest model, Sakura. Standing at approximately 160 centimeters tall, Sakura was designed not just as a companion robot, but as a seamless blend of beauty, practicality, and personalization. The moment Sakura stepped, or rather, was revealed, on stage, the audience gasped. From a distance, many could not even tell if it was human or machine. Her skin, crafted from hypoallergenic medical-grade silicone, carried an uncanny realism. Soft to the touch, durable enough to withstand daily interaction, and detailed down to subtle textures, Sakura pushed the limits of lifelike design. But what truly set her apart was versatility. Sakura comes with a full line of customizable options, different body types, multiple facial appearances, various hairstyles, eye colors, and even advanced voice capabilities that allow for natural conversation. Buyers can also choose lightweight designs for easier handling, or opt for interchangeable heads and accessories to change her look entirely. This isn't just a product, it's a platform for personal expression. At WRC 2025, Sakura became a symbol of how aesthetics and robotics are merging. While industrial robots impressed with speed and precision, Sakura captured hearts with elegance, real Realism and artistry. In a hall full of machines built to assemble cars and deliver packages, this robot doll stood out as a reminder. The future of robotics isn't only about work. It's also about connection, companionship, and the human desire to bring technology closer to life itself. Digital China Technology once again delivered one of the most visually stunning displays at the World Robot Conference, leaving visitors wondering if they were watching machines or actual humans. Their humanoid robots are famous for one thing above all, realism. With lifelike faces, expressive eyes, natural body movements, and even the ability to smile and dance, these robots blur the line between flesh and silicon. When standing face to face, spectators reported the strange sensation of interacting with a human actor rather than a programmed machine. Officially, the company claims its mission is to make artificial intelligence for everyone, but its unique strength today lies in building robots with a convincing human face. The company's portfolio is versatile, spanning entertainment, events, and service roles. Their humanoids, such as the Klon, S01, and S02 series, feature advanced bionic facial expressions and multimodal perception, meaning they can see, hear, and process data simultaneously to deliver responses in real time. In theory, these robots are also capable of walking and handling objects under remote control, though for reasons unknown, Digital China has not yet fully demonstrated this ability to the public. Another series, called the IP Line, focuses on interactive characters that can perform in public spaces, creating a sense of personality and engagement. Unlike companies focusing purely on industrial work, Digital China aims to bring humanoids into places where emotion, realism, and human-like presence matter most. Their performance at WRC reminded everyone that robotics is not only about speed or strength, but but also about capturing the essence of human connection. By giving machines expressive faces, they are rewriting what it means for robots to interact with people. Competition in China's humanoid robot market is heating up fast, and Yubtech has shown that it is ready to play on the world stage. At the World Robot Conference in Beijing, Yubtech rolled in with a massive booth filled with futuristic machines that drew constant crowds. The star of their lineup was the new Walker S2, a humanoid that stunned audiences with its ability to swap its own battery in less than three minutes, completely without human help. Standing at 5 feet 9 inches, or 176 centimeters, it can walk at nearly 2 meters per second, lift 15 kilograms, or 33 pounds per arm, 
squat and twist its torso almost 180 degrees. Its dexterous hands are designed for serious industrial work, guided by BrainNet 2.0, an advanced AI and co-agent system that enables both solo and team operations. Alongside it stood the Cruiser S2, a versatile wheeled robot that can guide visitors, deliver medicine, sort packages, or assemble products with sub-millimeter accuracy. UbeTech also presented the older Walker S1, already deployed in multiple auto factories, and the Walker Tian Kong, designed for education and research. Their newest robotic arm, a fifth-generation design with 19 degrees of freedom, tactile sensors, stereo vision, and a 20-newton grip, pushed precision robotics further. But the true highlight was UB Swarm Intelligence, where multiple robots walked on stage like a living orchestra, autonomously coordinating movements and tasks. The crowd was mesmerized as the machines operated with seamless synchronization, showcasing teamwork without any human involvement. That single performance didn't just demonstrate robotics, it showed how machines are beginning to think, act, and collaborate like living systems, leaving everyone with the feeling that UbeTech has redefined what it means to call a machine intelligent. Paxini also made a bold statement at the World Robot Conference with its flagship humanoid, Toro One, which the company promotes as the first machine that can actually feel the physical world. The secret lies in its palms, which are packed with almost 2,000 tactile sensors. These tiny yet powerful sensors can detect texture, pressure, resistance, and even the delicate weight of a single grain of rice. That level of sensitivity allows Toro One to perform tasks most robots would fail at, such as picking strawberries without crushing them, folding laundry neatly, or working with the precision of a surgeon. Equipped with LiDAR and slim Slam navigation, Toro One can fully map and navigate its surroundings. Its onboard AI integrates navigation, motion control, vision, tactile sensing, and even voice interaction, all processed directly inside the robot itself, without relying on remote operators. This independence makes Toro One both efficient and reliable. In just three short years, Paxini has raised nearly a billion yuan in investment from giants such as JD.com and BYD, showing how much confidence the market has in this breakthrough technology. The robot's ability to merge human-like touch with advanced AI could revolutionize industries ranging from agriculture and logistics to healthcare and home service. What makes Toro One stand out is not just its hardware but also its versatility. It can adapt to delicate human environments while still performing demanding tasks, bridging the gap between a service robot and a working assistant. The excitement surrounding Paxini proves that robots with the sense of touch may soon change the way humans and machines coexist, making this innovation one of the most talked about developments at the conference. Astrobot unveiled its humanoid S1, a machine marketed as one of the fastest and most precise robots currently in development. Built with lightning speed and razor-sharp accuracy, its arms can move at 10 meters per second, or about 32 feet, while lifting up to 10 kilograms or 22 pounds in each hand. Its level of control is remarkable, operating with sub-millimeter precision. Videos released by Astrobot show the S1 frying waffles in a pan, folding laundry like a pro, practicing traditional calligraphy, playing musical instruments, and even performing martial arts routines, all autonomously with no human controlling it in real time. The secret lies in Astrobot's design for AI approach, where hardware and intelligence are built hand-in-hand -hand to create a machine that can adapt to everyday tools and unpredictable situations. This philosophy makes the S1 not just another demonstration robot, but a true all-purpose assistant with potential for both homes and industries. Astrobot is planning mass production, aiming to position the S1 as a practical, multi-purpose companion. Price details remain unconfirmed, but estimates range from $100,000 to $150,000, suggesting it may take time before such robots become common household devices. Still, its versatility hints at a future where one machine could cook, clean, assist in healthcare, or even provide companionship. For now, the S1 stands as a glimpse into tomorrow's possibilities. Its balance of speed, intelligence, and adaptability sets a new benchmark for humanoids, reminding audiences that robotics is no longer limited to factories but inching closer to our daily lives. Astrobot's bold display made the S1 a highlight of the event and a symbol of the next leap in human-robot interaction. Leiju Robotics, founded in 2016 with backing from tech giant Tencent, has already achieved milestones that many competitors are still dreaming about. The company has shipped more than 100 full-sized humanoid robots and has entered the stage of true mass production, proving that humanoid robotics is no longer an experiment but an industry. Their flagship robot, Kufao, stands at 160 cm or 5 feet 5 inches and runs on the Open Harmony operating system. Kufao's capabilities include jumping, walking on sand or grass, and moving at speeds of 4.7 kilometers per hour equal to 2.7 miles per hour. 
This mobility comes from high-torque servos combined with advanced AI-ready interfaces, making it suitable for complex environments. Beyond its technical features, Leiju has forged powerful partnerships with companies like FA, Hongqi, and NIO, integrating their robots into real-world manufacturing and service roles. Reports suggest Kufao robots are not just test projects but are already being deployed in assembly lines, logistics centers, and public service facilities. This progress places Leiju among the leaders driving robotics from lab demos into mainstream use. The company's ability to deliver hundreds of humanoids into the field shows that China's robotics industry is not only about futuristic showcases but also about practical deployment at scale. By blending reliable hardware with AI integration, Liju's Kufao represents a step toward robots that can coexist and cooperate with humans in everyday work. With major financial and industrial backing, the company is well positioned to push humanoid robots into the next phase of adoption, cementing its role as one of the rising stars of the global robotics race. PND Botics stepped into the spotlight at the World Robot Conference with not one but two humanoids that immediately caught attention, Adam and Adam Yu. At first glance, their sleek designs impress, but the real magic lies under the hood. Adam stands about 160 centimeters tall, or 5 feet 3 inches, weighing in at 60 kilograms or 132 pounds. Powered by 25 high-torque modular actuators, this machine can move with astonishing fluidity. Thanks to reinforcement learning and imitation training, Adam adapts in real time, responding to its environment with movements that seem almost human. Observers said it moved like a smooth criminal, a robot capable not only of performing tasks but also learning them dynamically. Adam Yu, on the other hand, was co-developed with Notum and Inspire Robotics. This model features 31 degrees of freedom, vision and tactile sensing, advanced voice controls, and even an adjustable height system that can change from 135 centimeters to 177 centimeters, between 4 feet 5 inches and 5 feet 9 inches tall. Built primarily for research, training, and data collection, Adam U represents a flexible platform for those who want to explore the boundaries of humanoid robotics. However, this kind of technology doesn't come cheap. Adam U is priced at around $45,000, making it more of a serious investment than a casual purchase. Still, its blend of adaptability, sensing capabilities, and learning driven intelligence places PND Botics in the running as a company capable of pushing humanoid robotics beyond simple demonstration models. At WRC, their showcase highlighted not only technical engineering but but also the promise of machines that are truly designed to evolve alongside human needs. Lumos Robotics Another young startup making waves at the conference was Lumos Robotics. Though less than a year old, Lumos already grabbed the spotlight with its humanoid Lust 2, a machine built to showcase speed, balance, and agility. Standing at 160 centimeters or 5 feet 3 inches, Lust 2 might look small compared to some rivals, but what it can do left audiences impressed. It has the rare ability to recover from a fall in just one second, springing back onto its feet almost instantly. On top of that, its balance system reacts to environmental changes about 30 times faster than a human's reflexes, which gives it remarkable stability even on uneven ground. Lust 2 can also operate for two straight hours, making it suitable for demonstrations, research, and early-stage service work. The team behind Lumos Robotics is just as impressive as the robot itself. It includes engineers who previously worked at Magic Lab, the creators of Xiaomi's Cyberdog, as well as top graduates from Tsinghua University and innovators from Dreamy. Their combined expertise allows them to experiment with cutting-edge ideas. Currently, Lumos is developing a modular architecture for humanoid robots, meaning one single base platform could be adapted into different types of machines, whether service-oriented, research-focused, or even industrially specialized. For a company still in its infancy, this approach suggests big ambitions and bold thinking. Their presence at WRC proved that sometimes it's not about size but vision, and Lumos Robotics demonstrated that it has both the talent and drive to quickly become one of the fastest rising players in China's expanding humanoid race. Star Era, a leading high-growth robotics company from China, has just unveiled what looks like something out of a Hollywood sci-fi thriller, the Star L7, a full-scale bipedal humanoid robot built for maximum agility and mobility. And this is no flashy prototype made solely to impress convention goers. The L7 is a fully functional robot that can do some truly impressive things. It boasts an absurd 55 degrees of freedom, with nearly every limb, joint, and rotational axis moving independently. This allows it to move and balance in a way far more human-like than most humanoid robots, which still struggle with stability. The wild part? The L7 can twist its upper body 360 degrees, perform street dance routines, fold clothes with precise hand dexterity, and make rapid-fire hand movements that would put esports pros to shame. It's not just moving, it's moving fast and gracefully. 
You rarely see this level of dexterity in a consumer or mid-level robotics platform, unless you're talking about machines that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for high-end research. What truly makes the L7 stand out is the fluidity of its movement. Many humanoid robots still walk like stiff mannequins or require intricate scripts to perform even basic tasks. The L7? It runs, twirls, shoots, and bends, seamlessly shifting between motions in real time while reacting to balanced data and external stimuli. It's not just flailing its arms on stage, it performs actions with precision, folding clothes gently or executing complex dance moves involving timing, rhythm, and coordination. Star Era clearly put serious engineering into this robot. The 55 degrees of freedom span the entire body, shoulders, elbows, wrists, hips, knees, and ankles, each under independent control. That's why the L7 moves so fluidly without appearing clumsy. The price has not yet been revealed, but Star Era has made it clear that the L7 is not meant to be locked away in research labs. Instead, it is marketed as a practical playground for developers, businesses, and tech enthusiasts. Star Era envisions the L7 being used in entertainment, retail, service industries, education, and even as an aid in homes. This feels like science fiction bleeding into reality. For decades, humanoid robots were nothing more than flashy tech demos, cool to look at but impractical to use. Now, we finally have a machine that can do useful tasks and do them naturally. Just imagine, a human-like bot that can talk with people in public spaces, perform simple household chores, or serve as a platform for AI-powered services. The L7 couldn't have arrived at a better time. With companies like Tesla, Agility Robotics, and Figure inching closer to consumer-ready humanoids, Star Era has planted its flag early. The L7 is more than a product, it's a paradigm shift in how humanoid robots will integrate into everyday life. These are no longer just dancing robots at tech shows, they're human-like, human-moving machines doing genuinely human things. If the L7 performs as advertised, it will mark one of the biggest leaps forward in robotics to date. We're finally entering an era where humanoid robots are no longer confined to labs or factories. And while its tasks may seem simple, doing them in real time, in front of crowds, while interacting naturally with people, blurs the line between sci-fi fantasy and everyday reality like never before. Star Era may have just shown us what the next chapter of human-robot coexistence looks like, 